happy hump day. So I'm back sharing. I shared my video, I don't know, maybe a week or so ago. And then yesterday I shared the other video. And like I said, these have been pretty informal. Um, this time I kind of just jotted down some notes that have been on my mind and things that I just wanna, I want to cover for myself and just to share. Um, for me, sharing, being vulnerable, uh, I have to admit, I mean, this is really not easy. But I know that there's so many of us that suffer from, I mean, I say mental health because if you're mentally stressed, that's something that's affecting your health. And our mind and our bodies, I know my mind and body are so connected. I mean, a true way, and I guess I'll say this publicly, a true way to know that I'm going through some shit is my weight. For me, that's always been, like when I'm mentally in a space that is overwhelming for me, that is tragic or whatever is going on, it affects my body. It affects my sleep, I have insomnia, I go through these different physiological things as well as mental things. And I just have to share, I mean, number one, one thing about me, no matter all the shit that I've been through, and I'm grateful because some of the stuff I've gone through is nothing compared to what people in this world are going through, what you may have gone through. But for me, it affected me the way it did. And one thing that has happened to me and that I'm sharing is being smothered by self-doubt. Now, I made some notes to myself, so I may, I, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm referring to them, but that self-doubt, when you get so down on yourself and then you start doubting everything you've worked so hard for, everything I've worked so hard to be good at and be better at, you know, I just start doubting myself. And then I realize, no, you've worked really, really hard to be good at this. You've worked really, really hard to be of love. You've worked really, really hard to share yourself with people and as I talked about in my what's your superpower talk you know sometimes when you're in that darkness you're just sitting there and your thoughts can keep you in the darkness and until you start thinking yourself out of the darkness you stay there and one thing I do and I have to say that has saved me is just daily rituals daily things that have held me above water. I mean, if that's journaling, if that's setting goals, if that's reaching out to someone else, like having therapy, uh, and people think therapist, oh, it's because you're crazy or because of, you know, well, something's wrong with you. Yeah, something's wrong and I need to sort this shit out. And I need somebody that can be uh, objective to talk about this stuff. You know, therapy has been something for me where I can negotiate my feelings, weigh out other options when I need to get out of my head to say, okay, this is what I need to do. And I mean, I'm very well read, I read things. Self-help sometimes you can just do on your own. Sometimes you do need to lay something out on the table, negotiate things with a therapist or a coach or someone like that. I had Dr. Faith Brown out of New York who helped me right after my sister um, past transitioned. Um, I had her really, really help me tap into my own powers and stand in my own power. Like I knew what to do and this is what I'm talking to other people about, but I wasn't able to do it for myself. But having her as a therapist to really reinforce and coach me back to the things I knew really helped me survive. Um, probably a bigger breakdown than I feel like I had. You know, back um, some months ago, I left New York because I needed a sabbatical. I needed a peace of mind. I felt like my environment was sucking the life out of me. And I know I may be all over the place in these first few videos, but I just need to kind of explain how I kind of honed all of this down to, okay, what am I gonna do now? Number one, in order to remodel our own lives, in order to put our lives in the right trajectory, we have to surround ourselves with things that are gonna nurture and not suck. And 
environment is everything where you live what it looks like the cleanliness of it the environment the people that you're around that's why i always say mental fitness mental diets um, are not just what we eat and people say this and i'm not just trying to be a meme but this is really true what we put in our minds and our bodies go hand in hand so i had to i had to leave that environment and Within all of this, I've stayed confident and steadfast in the fact that, listen, you made it through this, then that means that we can overcome this. How, what do I have to do to do that? And number one is not giving up on myself, being confident in the fact that being a person of love, being resilient, I always say love is my superpower, but resilience is also one of my superpowers. And I always use that question, like, what's your superpower?